What's good? What's good? Facebook, YouTube, IG, what's good? What's good? We on this boy. We live tonight, man. We got a good topic for y'all, man. I'm super excited again. Always coming on here to drop some gems, man, for the holidays. My best gift I can give y'all is taking my time out to give y'all useful game tools that you can go out, set up your year for 2024 uh, to make some money, help people with affordable housing. So with that, y'all, listen, my name is Byron. I'm one half of the Mobile Home Elite Investors. I'm live on Instagram, live on YouTube, Facebook, uh, X, uh, formerly known as Twitter. And uh, man, listen, coming on here, y'all, to share with y'all some game about how to talk to sellers, y'all, how to talk to sellers. I know that's been a question I've received before, like, yo, how... How do I talk to sellers, right? How do I talk to sellers? Shout out my Instagram community. I already saying they're going to buy their first mobile home uh, this year. Let's get it. Let's get it. All right. But how do we talk to sellers? And I think that's something um, that I hear a lot of new investors kind of struggle with. Like, yo, what do I say? You know, how, you know, how should I say, you know, what should I say? Um, so with that being said, like I said, we're going to get into it. My name is Byron, one half of the Mobile Home Lead Investors. Um, and listen, been doing this now almost seven years. Um, did a lot in the game from, you know, fixing and flipping, wholesaling, uh, acquiring mobile home communities. And now, man, I just continue just to share game with you all to give you all the tools to know how to navigate this mobile home industry, this $34 billion industry, and give you all the tools tips, the strategies. So y'all go out there and be successful, right? So you can go out there and not only make some money, but be able to help somebody have affordable housing. Okay. So do me a favor. If you're on YouTube, make sure y'all subscribe, like, and share our channel. Truly appreciate that. Facebook, make sure you share this. And IG, do me a favor. Make sure y'all share this with somebody. I right? share this live with at least two to three people. I truly, truly, truly appreciate it. But how we always get these things started. I like to know who rocking with me. So it's a roll call. Like where you checking in from? All right, where y'all checking in from? Let me know where you checking in from, all right? Uh, I'm checking in from Chicago, counting down my last days of the Windy City, all right, taking my talents down to Florida. But let me know where y'all checking in from uh, in the comments, all right? And, uh, man, we're going to get started, again, talking about pretty much the art of negotiation and, and winning a seller's trust, all right? That's what we're going to talk about. Okay, shout out my Instagram, say Maryland. Yep, and this will be saved. Actually, this will be saved on YouTube, so y'all can watch the final. Um, um, you can watch it on YouTube. Kansas, okay, Kansas in the house. What are we checking in from? Let me know what we're checking in from. Like I said, I'm checking in from the Windy City. Let me know where y'all checking in from. Sac Town, somebody from Sacramento. All right, let me know where y'all checking in from. Like I said, before we get started, man, definitely we got 10 tips that can definitely help you all when we talk about talking to sellers, all right? That's one of the key things I see people kind of struggle with, like, what do I say? All right, we got Jersey in the house from IG, Joliet, okay, Boston, what's up, what's up? All right, Facebook, YouTube, let me know where y'all checking in from. Let me know where y'all checking in from. We'd love to see where y'all checking in from. But we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to get into it, all right? We're going to get into, again, how to talk to mobile home sellers, okay? How to talk to mobile home sellers, all right? Y'all see, man, I gotta get y'all hype. Let's get it, let's get it. Okay, we got Savannah in the house. Let's go, let's go, let's go. So the first thing, the most simple thing I can tell you, y'all gonna be like, man, I knew that, right? But when you're talking to a mobile home seller, right? Think about it. this is somebody who has a property for sale. You want to be respectful. Respectful. OK, you want to be respectful and have some type of level of professionalism. OK, now what I love about mobile home investing, especially if you doing it inside of mobile home communities. Right. You can kind of be down to earth. Right. A lot of times we're not looking. You know, we're not selling luxury real estate. You know, we're selling manufactured homes. We're selling the alternative um, for, you know. Homes that are built from the ground up. And so one of the key things, man, is. You know, again, be respectful. You know, you never want to come in and disrespect somebody's house. I've heard, unfortunately, I've heard people come into a mobile home and and go into somebody's crib and be like, ugh, <laughs> right? Or come in there just being like, you know, if they call it a mobile home, you're they calling a trailer, right? You kind of downplaying where they stay at, right? Like, you don't want to do things like that. You want to be respectful, right? Be professional. If you, if you want to come into this business, 
you want to have a level of professionalism, right? They want to they want to have a I would say a a confidence that you know what you're doing even if you don't know what you're doing, right? So you always just want to be respectful, right? That's how you build trust coming into the home. And like I said, I've heard unfortunately I heard people go into mobile homes and just say some crazy stuff to people. Right? Just come in there and just you know, looking all like it's nasty and, you know, even if it smells bad, you can't be in there talking about something. Like you, you can't do that, right? You want to be respectful if you come in there. That's the first thing. That's the rule of thumb. If you want to talk to a seller, right, is just being respectful. That's the major thing you want to do is be respectful, okay? So the next thing we talk about, since we got that, right, that should be a no brainer, right? If you know you got an aggressive personality, tone it down. Tone it down when you come in and talk to these sellers. Because at the end of the day, that seller wants to sell you something. They want to sell you something. And in your back of your mind, you already know, hey, I want to buy this so I can make a profit. All right. Even if you're wholesaling, right, you still want to be. But the next thing is this is very key. Some people don't do this. And when you never you, you got to do your homework, right? Know the market a little bit. If you're going to be, if you're going to, you know, talk to a seller, especially if it's in a mobile home park, right? Before that, right? Know, know how much the lot rent is. Know, like make a call to the office and ask those questions to the community. Is it a 55 plus community? Is there a lot rent? Okay. Like know how much homes sell for. Um, understand kind of the pricing in that community. You can know those things in advance. You don't necessarily have to ask the seller. That way, if you're going to talk to a seller, we're going to get into about negotiation. But that way, you know that advance, right? Because you got to think about it. If you are, if you're talking to a seller and you're doing single family homes, right? You know that you need a lot of times before you need to know the comps, right? You need to know the area. So that way, you already have, um, you know, they come with a crazy price. You already can talk about, hey, listen, like, you know, the homes up to, you know, that's so a block away so for this price and you asking for this and this was remodeled. Like, you have that, um, you have those advantages already. So it's the same thing. Do your homework. Know how much a lot rent is. Even if, let's say it's a mobile home on land, right? Know what the comps are in the area. You can use things like prop wire, prop stream to, to, to know those things or MLS to know what homes in the area already sold for. But this just gives you an advantage, right? It gives you a clear cut advantage by doing your homework before you even go talk to the seller. And just that knowledge right there is going to help them trust you to get the deal done, right? Especially if you're trying to wholesale, right? If you're trying to wholesale and you don't really know, you don't know too much. It's like, why, why would I let you get this home under contract? Or why would I let you market my home? If you don't even, if you don't even know nothing about this park, you don't know nothing about the area, right? So a lot of times we want to jump and want to talk to sellers and be, and, and already had a conversation and not know nothing about the land, the landscape, the community, nothing like that. So that is something that, again, you want to do your homework, okay? So the first one was be respectful, be professional. Second was do your homework. The next one is, okay, ask open-ended questions. This is when you want to get curious about the property, right? Ask open-ended questions. You want to get very curious about the property, Right. You want to know the condition. OK, you want to know. Listen, like you want to know what's their motivation for selling. OK, you want to know all of the details. When is the last time the home been renovated? How old is the furnace? HVAC. Right. Um, what problems do you have? How much do you estimate the home is, you know, how much work needs to be done? Like you can ask them these questions, right? But you just want to get very curious when you're talking to sellers, especially learning details about their home, right? Very curious about details about their home because at the end of the day, that's how you're going to know, especially if you're trying to wholesale. This is very important if you're going to wholesale or even if you're going to, you know, put it on the market, you want to know all of the details, right? So ask those questions, ask open-ended questions, gather the details, so then that way, if again, if you're going to wholesale, right, you know, you, you're curious and you know, this is a good deal or not, right? This is very important. Now, the next thing, 
after you ask those questions, right? Because you, you you're asking questions. Listen actively. Listen actively, right? Pay very close attention to their responses. Pay attention to their concerns. Like, don't just go in there just trying to talk, ask questions, over talk them, hustle them, hustle them, hustle them. Like, no, nah. like this ain't <laughs> you, you, nine times ten they ain't gonna want to work with you because you're gonna sound like a like a salesman. You're gonna sound they're not gonna really rock with you like that. Listen actively, just be quiet. And a lot of times the seller will begin talking and will start to tell you different things. The seller may even tell you, they may like you and they can tell you about their life story and tell you all this stuff. They may tell you who's selling their home down the street or who they the friends selling the home. Or they may, what I, <laughs> we've even had sellers that tell us about potential buyers. So again, listeningly, listen actively. Listen actively when you are talking to a seller. Ask your questions and listen. Just listen. Sometimes, yeah, we can talk too much. Listen. Now, this is one of the most important things. Any wholesaler, anybody will always tell you this, right? Understand the seller's motivation. Understand the seller's motivation. Why are they selling? Why do you want to sell? Let me know why do you, like why why are you looking to sell? Help me to help you. Why do you want to sell? Right? And see, sometimes they may be moving, they can't afford it anymore, divorce. You know, they they're they're going some, you know, they they're going, you know, moving up the streets. They got a bigger mobile home, right? Um uh, I appreciate you asking about the baby. The baby's great. <laughs> Thank you. Um, but again, like if you know their motivation for selling, this helps you to help them. It helps you to help them. Okay. Because knowing that, right, it's going to meet their needs. You're going to be able to, again, we talk about listening actively. And especially if you're wholesaling, right? It lets you know what they need, how soon they need, and anybody, right? When we when we feel that somebody can help us, that's when the trust opens up. I'm talking their language. Now the next thing is you just got to be able to bag it up, right? Got to be bag it up. So now you understand the, the seller's motivation. The next thing, right, especially, again, if, if you are going to buy it cash or if you're wholesaling, but especially if you're buying a mobile home cash, right? Inspect the mobile home. When early in my, you know, when we first started teaching this, we used to kind of be like, oh, you don't need inspections and things like that. You don't have to pay for an inspection. Get an inspection. Get an inspection. I've learned the hard way by not getting an inspection. Why? Because you can just basically know, you know, like you can know any, under, any underlying issues that you may not be able to see visually. Something that, you know, that can even help you in negotiation process. Very important. Get an inspection. Pay pay an extra few bucks to get an inspection. All right? There are a lot of companies that do mobile home inspections. It can be underlying mold. It can be um, problems with the you know with the plumbing system, right? Because nine times ten, you ain't getting under no mobile home. I've been in a mobile home one time and one time only, and I will never ever ever go into mobile home again. All right. On Facebook, let's say it says, who do you get to do the inspection? So they're actually companies, right? You can actually go like if you go on if you're on Facebook right now, you can ask for Facebook. Um, um, you can ask for recommendations, right? There are so many Facebook groups that offer um, you can find, you know, a renovation Facebook group. You can um, you know, like Angie's list. You, there's a lot of places you can actually go. You can ask the, the park, you know, who does inspections. And, you know, it shouldn't be that much, but, you know, you can definitely get the inspection done. But like I said, I've been in the one mobile home, y'all, and I'll never go there again. I promise I saw roach mixed with spiders. I promise y'all. I ain't never seen no creatures like that in my life. And I said I would never, ever go under there again. I remember it was me and, and my father-in-law. Uh, and, uh, you know, again, you know, you don't want to like, feel like a punk, and you know what I'm saying, with your father-in-law. And uh, I, was go I was up under there, you know, in the trenches, and I remember... You know, flashing the 
the the the the flashlight on and i'm just like man please let me make it out of here lord <laughs> i'm like man this is crazy I, I i was like i will never ever go under another mobile home in my life i did it been there done that i'm not going to encourage you to do it if you get handy you you know you handy man listen god bless you you can go ahead and get up under there not i all right so again get an inspection the next thing right after you get an inspection and things like this especially if you're making offers explain your offer explain your offer like if you're going to offer you know, you, you know, a lot of times, you know, you may make a low, you know, a low offer. I used to always tell you all to start low, make a low offer, explain it, right? Explain why. Meaning like, hey, listen, I, I made this offer because I saw I got to do these repairs. I saw this, this is possibly going to cost me this. Um, you know, the, the mobile homes uh, like yours up, you know, up the street, uh, some of those handyman specials or some of those that needed work, you know, um, sold in this same price range. Right. Like you want to just explain why, you know, or you can just say, you know, hey, this is what this is what I can offer. Um, and, you know, I understand if you, you know, if you're not accepting my offer right now. But, you know, here's my information. Give me a call. A lot of times, depending on what it is, you can check back on them. Um, but, yeah, like explain your offer why you're offering what you're offering. Just don't say like, let's say they're asking for twenty thousand and you just come in like, yeah, I give you five thousand. <laughs> right. They like what? How are you gonna come here disrespectful like that? Right. So come in there, explain why you offering five thousand. If you feel it's worth five thousand, then cool. You, you better have a good explanation, but make sure um, you explain that. All right. Next is highlight the benefits of the home. Right. So when you in there, like make them feel good. Right. When you're in there, just, you know, listen, man, like, oh, man, like, listen, my offer. Here's the biggest thing. Right. Like. When you're in a home, you know, you want to you want to highlight things that, you know, makes it sound good. But one of the things you want to do is highlight, especially if you're making your offer um, that you can close fast. You got flexible terms. Right. They love hearing that, um, you know, talk about the advantages of your offer, especially if they haven't got an offer like that. Uh, that's very important. But just highlight the benefit of working with you and talk about the, you know, the benefit of, again, that home, like highlight those things. Very, very important, man. Make them feel good. But like, not to say it sound like a con, man, like, you know, like, and shout out to anybody who's in the MLM. But I'll say this. Don't make them feel as if <laughs> if they don't take your offer, they're, you know, they losing in life. All right. Don't make them feel like that. But just, again, highlight why they should work with you. All right. Which leads me to the next thing. Negotiate like a pro. Right. Negotiate like a pro. Like. That's the thing. Remember, we talked about at the, at the beginning, do your homework. If you do your homework, you could just negotiate. That way you're just not out here throwing out numbers and you're just not out here just, just trying to lowball them for the sake of, right? Like, here's my thing. I tell people all the time, if there's room to make a profit, then don't try to go too low, right? Like, for example, like I'll give you an example, right? Like, let's say, again, for example, the mobile home is on the market for $15,000. But you know that you can sell that mobile home as is for $30,000. Why would you try to get that person down to half that price and be like, all right, come on, man, look, I'll give you 7,500. Now understand, yes, you want to get a huge profit, but it's like you already about to double your money. So, so why even try to lowball, right? But then again, as far as negotiate, okay, if you're going to negotiate, maybe take a few grand off, but don't go crazy, right? And then here's the thing. If they're giving you pushback and you know that, like, okay, this is not worth where it is, like, make sure it's a win-win so solution. Offer a win-win solution so that way you walk away from the deal, you don't feel like you got jib, and they walk away from the deal feeling like they, they, you know, they got some money onto it, right? Don't get aggressive. Don't get no arguments with people over no deals. Like, man, this home ain't worth all this. You crazy. Like, no, nah, man, don't. we're not doing all that. All right. Just be cool. Pump your brakes. All right. There's many deals out there. So you don't have to get sold on that one, especially if you're in the field arguing with somebody like, nah, you don't want to do that. All right. So says somebody is static noise. Hard to hear you. Uh, most likely that is my heating system in this, in this, in my office. Uh, let's see if I turn my volume up, but we, we're going to thug it out. All right. Make sure you watch the replay on YouTube. It'll probably sound a little bit better. All right. So the next thing is, right, negotiating, get everything in writing. 
get everything in writing, y'all. Everything from the price point, everything you want to get that in writing. If y'all get it, once y'all agree, get that home under contract. This is the purchase agreement. This is the price we're locked in. So that way, when it comes to close or, you know what I'm saying, you not come in and they, they not trying to switch it up like, whoa, 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 shorty. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm the, this is a blank piece of paper, but like, look, this right here, this right here, this right, this what you said we were about to do. Mm -mm, we're not, we not doing a switch up. This, this is the agreed price that I'm going to pay because that can happen. Verbal agreements, verbal agreements can be switched on a day of closing. I've, I've definitely seen it. I've definitely had people day of closing come, verbal agreements, right? When I'm about to sell them on something and then they like, hey, man, look, you know, I know you, I know you're asking for, for eight, but I, I got six. What? But at the end of the day, I was going to still make some bread. And I took offers like that, but still, if I had it in writing, they couldn't come say that, right? They couldn't tell me that because now it's like, no, nah, this is the price you agreed to, okay? So make sure you have everything in writing, y'all, okay? So just wanted to go over, y'all. Man, said, what's up, Vernon? My man Vernon on Facebook said, paper is king, big facts, right? Big facts. So I went over how to talk to sellers. This was pretty brief. Right now we had like the 22-minute mark. And we went over a few things, right? We went over, again, being respectful. Make sure you do your homework, right? Knowing the area, right? Knowing so that way when you're talking to a seller, you can kind of, you know, be able to, you know, just kind of just like sound more confident, right? Uh, ask open-ended questions. Ask a lot of questions about the property. Get very curious about the property. Very, very important. Uh, listen actively. Sometimes you just got to be quiet. After you ask your questions, you don't necessarily have to, you know, uh, just over talk them and, and just, you know, again, just really just kind of just be rude. All right. Understand the seller's motivation. Why are they selling? All right. This can help you as far as what negotiating, uh, negotiation, uh, inspect the home. Very, very important. Make sure you get an inspection of the home. Very, very, very important. Costs a few dollars, but you definitely, if you're going to buy it, you buy it cash, you want to know everything is going with it, going, going wrong with it. And it can help you with negotiation. Um, explain your offer. All right. Definitely explain your offer, right? Just don't throw them no crazy offers and then highlight the benefits of your offer, right? Let them know, Hey, I can either close fast, you flexible, right? I'm paying cash. Like, you know, explain the benefits, uh, negotiate like a pro. All right, and get everything in right. So, y'all, listen, those are some tips on how to talk to mobile home sellers. Y'all, real quick, any questions that you may have. And while you have your questions, what I wanted to invite you all to, again, like I said, I've been doing these classes. I think this is the third class, uh, you know, third session I'm on here um, in a row. Um, and just highlight Instagram. If you comment, sell, right, you all uh, can access $400 off our Mobile Home Elite Institute, which is our online program with over seven courses, um, only for $97. So if you comment, sell, you get that, uh, Facebook, YouTube, again, if you want to learn more, you want to go get the game, uh, go to mobile home leader Institute, or the link is in the uh, description. You'll see the link in the description, but, uh, go to mobile home leader Institute, choose the mobile home Elite Institute and, and use promo code. We got you in all caps. Okay. So like I said, I wanted to throw that out there, y'all, but if you have any questions, let me know, man, before we uh before we jump off here. I think somebody it says sale. So that right there, like I said, you want to look uh Facebook. The link is in the description. Facebook, the link is in the description. You can click, you can get directly there, uh, directly to the sale price. Um, I got you. The only of your comment sale on um Instagram is only set up. They'll you're gonna get it directly to your DM. I got y'all. So any questions, like I said, um, uh, before I jump off here, man. Um, again, truly, truly appreciate y'all, man. Always, always rocking with me. I always want to get some game. Like I said, we talked about how to, to talk to sellers. Uh, yesterday's class, man, we went over uh, finance and make sure y'all catch the replay on YouTube. Uh, and then the day before, I forgot, man, I did some of these classes. I forgot what we was talking about. But y'all already know, man, I'm almost going to come on here and get y'all some game, man. So any questions before I jump off here, man, like I said, I'm always going to ask y'all questions, man. 
Uh, definitely shout out to y'all and y'all family for the holidays. I know some of y'all probably traveling right now. Safe travels to all you all. Um, I hope y'all having a one-on-one -on -one coaching available. Yes, Unique. Yes, there is. Uh, so Unique, do me a favor. Shoot me a DM um, and just say one-on-one -on -one coaching. So right now, I do have 24 slots available that I'm taking uh, for the first quarter of the year for one-on-one -on -one coaching. Uh, you may have to join the wait list, but I got 24 slots available. I just actually released it um, early last week. So I haven't been. So again, if you're interested, if you want to do one-on-one -on -one coaching with myself, um, you can act, or actually you can go on the mobile home lead institute.com and then you can apply there um, to see if you'll be a good fit. If it's something um, to, to do one-on-one -on -one coaching with myself. So, um, but yeah, I definitely got you covered on that. So uh, either go to link in my bio or just DM me and I'll shoot you that directly uh, unique poor. So if no questions, man, like I said, listen, I just want to wish y'all um, an amazing week. Listen, if you're in Chicago tomorrow, I'll be doing a live podcast um, at Royalty in Lansing, uh, Illinois. So it's South Suburbs. Uh, so definitely pull up. This is going to be my last Chicago appearance uh, for a while. I may be coming back for some Chicago real estate meetups with my uh, with my bro and sis, Dre uh, Haynes and Rashana Scott. Um, but like, I, like if you didn't know, we're moving down to Florida. Um, so Florida, watch out. Uh, you know what I'm saying? F within the first quarter, we definitely will be having some meetups down in Florida um, in the Tampa area. Potentially Orlando. We'll see what the demand is. Uh, but yeah, man, we just really want to Definitely rock with y'all down in Florida, man, and bring some good energy. Um, you know what I'm saying? Uh, let's say Nancy. What's up, Nancy? Said one-on-one -on -one related to the society. No, 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 no. So the society is uh so I'm doing a podcast tomorrow too. Oh, hey, dope. That's what's up. What's up? So uh no, no. So this is different. This is a uh, special member. I think I was telling you all in the society what we'll be leaning towards. So this is different. This is different to society. I think we probably be coming to the end in March. Um, so yeah, I, I close the doors for the mobile home society. All right. All right. Any last minute questions? Like I said, if not, I already know, man, appreciate y'all. Like always, man, listen, this is always dope. Uh, man, make sure YouTube, make sure y'all subscribe, like, and share that channel. Uh, truly appreciate y'all. Uh, make sure, again, you follow us on Instagram because I'm live on Instagram as well. Instagram, make sure y'all go ahead, subscribe to the YouTube channel, Facebook. Y'all do the same, man. I truly, truly, truly appreciate you. Nancy, no problem. I got y'all. And like that, y'all, until next time, God bless y'all, man. Have an amazing night. I appreciate y'all giving me some of y'all time. That's one of the most valuable things that you can provide. Truly, truly appreciate that. All right, y'all. Peace. Thank you